Okay, so players are extremely unhappy about the state of, uh, I wouldn't say the state of the game, but uh, for the mere fact that certain experts are a necessity in order for you to do decently well in, let's say, you know, the Raging Lion, uh, the Wither Messenger, or maybe even Mateo's Trout, which is insane because we need one new Esper for so many different content. If not, we are probably not going to be able to excel that well. And this has been, more in more recent times, a bigger issue, I would think. Now, the thing is, it is very unfortunate because they introduce brand new content, but with brand new content, that means that certain espers may not do so well anymore. So we will need brand new espers to, who, who like fit that category really well. So for example, Mateo, he has the speed lead. He is perfect here. He has multi-hits. He has a lot of extra DPS. He has a lot of AP pushing. Perfect for all of these content. Every single one of them, right? So this is clearly going to be an issue uh, in the short run because in the short run, we won't have enough espers to deal with content like this unless you pay to win. Uh, the same was true for 3.1.7 and 3.1.8 mostly when we didn't have the, the esper spread to handle Kronos, we didn't have the esper spread to handle APEP and maybe even Fafnir. So that was an issue, but guess what happened? Eventually things turn out well and people are just beating these content again. So uh, things have changed a lot. I mean, of course, they have buffed and nerfed certain aspects along the way. But anyway, for the most part, for this video, I have three ways for you, Lilith Games, to actually make the game a little bit more bearable to everyone in the entire server, okay? So everyone will benefit from any one of these three options that you, you could choose. I mean, this is entirely up to you. If you have a better idea, yeah, sure. But I have three ideas. The first idea is give Banner Espers a trial period. So now that Mateo is the Banner Esper, it is probably the best way for you to sell him by making him a trialable Esper. I, I know that's not English. I know English is not my first language. So the way that I think makes him a possible trial Esper is you allow players to use him on the one condition that they clear their dailies every single day. Maybe, for example, right? Uh, if you clear all your dailies every single day, you will unlock the Trowel Mateo for the day. And you can put your own equipment onto him, uh, give him whatever stats that you feel like he should need, and you can try him out for whatever content. And that's going to be perfect for you know players who, who want to figure out whether they want to get their own Mateo or not. And this is probably going to be a good way for you to sell it, especially if you have Mateo and events like this, right, like Raging Lion, where he does extremely well. That is going to be the best way for you to sell uh, new espers. Basically, because for the most part, why would someone who is like maybe free to play or maybe a small spender, why would they go for a brand new esper without really knowing, re without really feeling how good that esper is? So yeah, that's where I'm trying to get at. Anyway, this is like my, my first point. Give banner espers a trial period. Now, the second way that you can also make things better for players is for Boom Boom <laughs> or this Boom, whoever, okay, to be a perpetual helper, Everyone in the game would have Boom Boom as the helper, not the Esper, but a helper, a friend. And him being the helper will actually have the Banner Esper as his helper Esper. So in this case, in this update, he will have uh, Mateo as his helper Esper. And maybe you can have this Boom as well uh, if, let's say, you have another legendary Esper. In this case, maybe Shenpin. So maybe you can have this Boom use Shenpin as a helper Esper, and you can have Boom Boom use Mateo as the helper Esper. And that will allow players to just use these Espers in whatever content that they can use uh, helper Espers in. So, But for example, maybe in the Raging Lion, you could possibly allow helper Espers who are either this Boom or Boom Boom so that you know you can actually use some of these Espers to try out over here, even though you can't use, like let's say, your, your own friend's helper Espers, for example. So that is point number two, which would definitely help ease the load, I think, right? But I mean, point number two is probably like a little bit more extreme. You cannot use him once a day, maybe, who knows? But here comes point number three. So this is probably a, a very big topic or like a very, a very sensitive topic uh, for the most part. So my idea is to reduce the R0 cost of Banner Espers to maybe like 80 Wish Stones, for example. So the goal is to allow players to make it a little bit easier for them to get their first R0 copy. But for them to get R1, R2, blah, blah, blah onwards, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, 100 Wish Stones onwards. So yes, just giving players a better time in getting the Espers, like getting the new Espers, making it a lot easier, making them feel like, okay, I have this Esper at R0. I might want to push Mateo to R2 because that gives you 100% crit rate. So that could incentivize players to use their Wish Stones a little bit more smartly because they'll feel like, okay, it's fine. I can get my first R0 copy at you know a discounted price of 80 Wish Stones. 
uh, I don't really want to pass it up if not the next time I might not be able to get him that's one or maybe in the future I might only be able to get him for like 100 bridge stone so that would actually make players think a little bit I think or, or to be a little bit more um, carefree I don't want to say the word carefree but to be a little bit more carefree with their currency uh, to help them like go through this difficult decision basically so these are my three points okay so just just a quick summary the first is to give all banner espers a trial period you can unlock the banner esper every single day by doing something uh point number two boom boom and this boom will be helper your helper friends right with the banner espers as the helper espers and point number three reduce the r0 cost for banner espers to something lower something a little bit more enticing and yeah if you guys have any other opinions or you feel like this is like not good for the game for whatever various reasons right like i can actually think of certain reasons why this is not good so maybe having a trial period might put people off actually buying that esper directly because they might feel like okay maybe this esper sucks or like maybe reducing the R0 cost of banner espers would make it easier for whales to whale. I, I don't know, I mean whales are always going to whale anyway. Or you know what, some people might actually twist it around to making it seem more pay to win than it need be. Because now, uh, more, more players are incentivized to spend, right? <laughs> right? I mean, players are angry about over everything. Okay, but anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's content, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.